Welcome to another video by Dan Hayden with 12 Red Tech, www.12red.com. We're going to do how to change the memory on a DL380 from Hewlett Packard. First thing you do is make sure the power is unplugged and that you've depowered the unit by pressing the power button. Then you go ahead and lift the lever up. If the lock bolt's turned, you can un unloosen it. In this case, you do it, and then there's a little more to it. You have to pull up hard, and the lid slides. Pull the lid off. Stick the lid in a nice, safe location. Then you have to remove the battery backup for the RAID cache, if there is one. You can do that by setting it here. Then you have to pull these cables out of the shroud for the memory. You just turn them slightly, and then kind of pinch the cables so that the cable inside this protector is flat. Do that, it kind of pops out. Do the same thing with this one, it pops out. Same thing here, these are easier. Pops out, pull the shroud off, and then you pull the wings off all the memory. Because I'm replacing eight sticks total, I don't have to look at the diagram for how to put the memory in correctly. I felt that this was the easiest way without messing with the uh, memory diagram. So I set my old memory over here. What's coming out is genuine Hewlett Packard memory. memory, slide it out of the static bag, sit it like that, and make sure that the teeth are lined up correctly, get an aerial view like that, and then press kind of both at the same time, line the teeth up, set it in a slot, press, next bag, I am kind of doing this quick to make a point that this is not difficult, especially on these Hewlett Packard servers. The ProLiant line is very high quality. And you don't have a lot of server downtime when you're doing an upgrade like this. The memory that's going in is genuine Hewlett Packard memory. I bought this memory from uh, Server World. You can Google them. Uh, they have great prices on genuine Hewlett Packard parts. It gets a little trickier as you get further in. Just line it up, make sure they're seated. Press it in. I could have done this first. It would have been easier on me, but there's plenty of room here to get the memory in there. So that sticks in and press. So then I take the shroud. The shroud just fits right back in here. And if you want to line it up, there's a hole in the motherboard with a little plastic leg on the shroud, and that's how you know it's in line. Place your cables back in here. Just like that. Place the battery back up for the RAID controller, a crucial piece of equipment that everybody should have on a server. If the server is important in any way, shape, or form. the lid back on. Just press the lever back down, it slides itself into place and fire it up.
We have redundant power supplies. Once again, critical. The server is important. This server actually came from Server Worlds. That is normal to have the fence power up like that, that high, after you've had the power unplugged. It's a self-test feature that the server has built in. It will calm down here in just a second. actually see the screen where it's firing up. Sixteen gigabytes installed. It does have the advanced error checking memory support. And that's it. Another video by Dan Hayden with 12 Red Tech, www.12red.com.